felt like I was right back at home. You know, me, Drake, and Zay played a lot of ball together, so we have really good chemistry. I know what Zay's going to do. I know what Drake's going to do. It fights first. So it was just awesome to be back out there. Again. The injuries that you had, are they just kind of freakish things, or is it something that you're concerned that might happen again? No, I mean, it's just freakish things, and I can't go out there thinking about injuries or I'm most likely going to get hurt. So I just play every play like it's my last 100%, and I give everything I got every play. It just seemed like you were... 100% out there. Do you feel like that at this point? Yeah, I'm definitely. I've been 100% honestly since we got out of spring ball is when I got cleared, but I've just been chilling a little bit until the summer and I ramped it up and now it's full go and I'm ready to play. What do you think about the, the depth that you guys have at the line uh, court position, especially if you guys can remain healthy this year, the damage that you guys can do this year? Yeah, I mean, it's truly impressive. You know, me, Drake, and Zay, obviously, but behind us, we have guys like Jalen Scott, the Pahan Betty, Caden uh, Fordham, Jalen Parker, and those guys have all played. They've all been thrown in the fire due to injuries, and if they needed to go back out there, they would know what to do, and there would be no drop off at all. So to have that depth helps us three, and it helps everybody on the team, honestly. What was the Bahamas trip that like? Position, speak, speak on the other positions on the defense that will make you guys uh, be the whole team that everybody's expecting. Yeah, I mean, if you look years back, like before we got here, it's this problem was on the defense, which is usually our secondary. But now, this whole preseason, our secondary is ranked number one in the nation, and they're just as strong as we are. And the D line is also just as strong and has as much depth as the LPs do all around. We have so much depth on every position on the team. What was the uh, no, I'm not, I'm not, no, we don't live together okay. anymore. Do you guys still push each other each day? Yeah, we still talk all the time. He's still one of my best friends. And it's basically like we still live together because we talk so much. What was the Bahamas trip like? No, it was pretty fun. It was a good relaxer uh, before we came back to camp. Uh, I want to shout out Tom LaFolsi, go for mobile app, for taking us down there. But it was an excellent time. And we really enjoyed it. How was the golf game? Not good. I'm not a golfer. I'm glad I can play football. <laughs> For you to be back out there, what does it mean to you uh, personally? You know, to be back out there because you haven't really played much uh, the last couple of years. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's awesome. Like when I was walking on the field today, I had to hold back tears because I mean, I do love this game. I've been playing this game since I was five years old, and I can put my whole heart into it. Every day I go out there, I practice as hard as I can. So to be back out there, I mean, it means the world to me. I mean, so many people have also sacrificed a lot for me to be here. So I just love the fact that I'm able to go out there and prove to everyone and myself that I'm able to still do this. Since the last time you were on the field, um, what do you think you've improved on that you're going to show off this fall? Uh, I mean, I, this is best, the best my body's ever felt. You know, I'm as big as I've ever been. I weigh the most, and I think I'm as fast as I've ever been as well. But more so just the mental part of the game, just knowing and understanding things and becoming a student of the game. How much did you kind of rewatch past games? Uh, a lot. You know, something that I did to get that mental edge as well because I wasn't playing, but I was also doing it to learn and to take things from other guys and try to improve my game. How do you kind of like handle that? I'm sure at this time you thought you would be preparing for your NFL career this month, right. but how do you kind of like know that maybe your path is a little delayed, but it will get there when it needs to get there? Um, I would just say one day at a time. You know, I don't really look forward. I've kind of learned that due to injuries, you know, they happen when they happen and you can't control them. So if you just take it one day at a time and try to do what you're doing that day the best you can, that's all you can do. How did you kind of lean on your older brother? Uh, I mean, he's... Did he ever have injuries uh, as not, a pitcher or not? Not really. He never had any, so... But he's awesome. You know, me and my brother are really close. I'm a very family-oriented person, and during that time, my brother and my family, they were there, and I had a shoulder to cry on if I needed one. Um, how important was it to have, you know, that support system, you know, just be there to uplift you during those like, moments? Yeah, I mean, it was awesome. Me, my mom, and dad, you know, I kind of took it granted for living so close. When I first got here, I wasn't going home as much, but then, you know, Bradley Chubb came down, like I said, and told us that we need to find love outside of the game, you know. So I went back home, and I just kept going back home, and, you know, I figured out my why. I figured out why I do this and who I do it for. So just to have that support system is truly awesome.